that was just like last year, guys. That happened fast. I'm up here hunting this evening. Mendocino National Forest, uh, B3, Southern B3. And uh, it's got, excuse me, catching my breath. Got her done. Spin the camera around here. brush is super tall in here. All I saw pretty much was just the base of its neck and up. Little fork and horn and, you know, you see the National Forest Public Land? I'm not picky. Legal buck is a good buck for me. So, stoked for myself. I wish my little boy was here to get a shot at him. photos Yeah, so we've seen uh, six, seven, eight, eight does and I think a spike. I'm not positive. Could have been a spike fork for all I know. We'll keep on trying. That's not good. That's a major washout. Just out here today. This is day four of my B zone hunt in Mendocino National Forest. Just uh, exploring a few new ridges, a few new roads. There's a jillion of them out here. Uh, so far, as you've seen on day four, I've seen two does, three yearlings, and a spike. A spike. I didn't get real good footage of them, but just a normal little spike. So just out here solo hunting, checking it out. It's a windy, kind of overcast day. I don't know if it's going to rain or not, but it sure is acting like it is. I think more further up north. But All right, we'll keep on covering some ground, see what I can find. Getting her lunch on. Movie dinner.
Hey guys, I'm going to go ahead and probably wrap this day four video up. Uh, it was pretty much just strictly a road hunting day for myself. Um, got to cover some miles in a, in a couple hours and it was kind of nice to explore and see some different country um, compared to where I usually hunt, the little pocket of uh, road system that I hunt. So, uh, As you can see, maybe, maybe not. It's a little, it's a little foggy. We're sitting up here on pushing 6,000 feet, probably 5,000 to be more realistic. And uh, yeah, the fog set in, sprinkling, raining. It's, it's, a, it's a perfect day to be out in the woods. Total of seven does and that one spike, but you never know when a legal buck's gonna walk out in front of you. So you always gotta have your guard up and ready. So, but uh, thanks for watching. All right, guys, welcome back. It's day whatever of the hunt this season. Uh, today is October 6, 2023. I got my son with me. Pulled him a little bit out of school. Uh, a little case of buck fever he has, and so do I. We're currently en route right now to go pick up uh, Cowboy Gus, who has a lot more buck fever than we do. He has it really bad. So we're gonna go try to remedy all of this and uh, cure us all of, of uh, the last day of deer season for us. It's Friday, the weekend before the last day, and can't get him from the couch, so we're going out, even if it is, feels like it's 100 degrees. I think it's 92, but man, it's hot. All right, guys, let's see what we can go find. Thanks for sticking around. Let's go do it. All right, well, this is gonna be a wrap to my 2023 Mendocino National Forest deer season. Uh, we gave it heck up here with Cowboy Gus and my son Gavin, and uh, just two does to show for it. So up here around 55, 5,700 feet, um, I think they've moved down and or they've been pressured the last four weeks. We just pretty much drove roads. We did 40 miles of roads. We only had a few miles or a few hours to hunt, so we just did some road hunting. So we gave it heck. Gavin had fun. He learned. 13 year old so every time every trip out's a little learn a little more learning experience for him and one day he'll get it done so i'll be a happy father i already am but beautiful sunset kind of a little smoke sunset in the distance so couldn't be happier it's fun to be out here and god's creation love it so i hope you guys did real well hope you guys were successful let me know in the comments if you were that'd be great uh otherwise See you next year for sure. Bye. All right, guys. If you made it this far into the video, let's cut right to the chase. Here is Cowboy Gus's 4x4 that he killed last year. The zone was C4, that's all I'm gonna tell you, C4. So it's a, it's a Northern California buck. His outside spread was uh, 24 and a quarter inches. So, good buck, good buck. I'm gonna go ahead and tape him out and just do a rough estimate on Boone and Crockett's score. Um, just for fun. His inside spread, I'll give you that, I just took it, is, his inside spread is going to be 19 and 2 eighths. So if you have any guesses, put them on down in the comments down below of what you think his Boone and Crockett score is going to be. Gross. I'm going to go ahead and get the measuring. We'll find out in a couple minutes. Start with the main beam. Now burr. Okay guys, besides 
adding it up. I got rough score real quickly on his right side. Let me go ahead and get to his left. All right, guys, here is the scores. Not all of them, but please leave a comment down below what you think what the guess might be of his gross score. And uh, see who gets the closest. Winner has the bragging rights, I guess. Thanks for watching if you came this far. Until next time, see you on the Shed Fountain.